This is the Amazon exclusive figure of Jake and his Banshee. As you can see at the bottom there, it says Jake Sully and Banshee Deluxe Set. Now this box is insanely big. For references, if I put the Jake Sully pop figure next to it, or in front of it in this case, you can see that the box is quite sizable compared to this little figure. Now, as I said, this box or this figure, this deluxe set can only be bought at Amazon as I didn't find it anywhere else online and I had to import this from Amazon because I live in Norway. So this was the only place I could find it and I really, really wanted this figure. I don't have any of the McFarlane figures of Avatar. So I thought to myself, if there's one that I want, it would be the exclusive Amazon deluxe set of Jake and his Banshee. Now on the front, you don't see the figure itself. It just shows the beautiful Avatar logo really detailed this box is one of those boxes that you actually want to put on display and at the bottom like i said it says jake sully and banshee deluxe set it says ages 12 and up and on the side you can just see it says mcfarland toys of course and at the bottom there it says jake sully and banshee again some beautiful artwork on the side and at the back it gives you a little bit of preview of what you can expect of the figure itself now of course this is a picture of the movie the the statue isn't going to be or the figure isn't going to be as detailed as this picture but you know it just gives you a little bit of an idea of what you're purchasing jake sully and his banshee again a really beautiful piece of artwork on the box itself and then at the bottom it just gives some detail on McFarlane itself and then on the other side it says the exact same you have again some artwork McFarlane toys you have some artwork from the movie and at the bottom it says Jake Sully and Banshee but without further ado let's open this bad boy up and see what the figure looks like inside now once I've carefully cut open the plastic here, you can see at the top it also has the Avatar logo looking really beautiful. And if I carefully open this up without damaging the box, I hate, I hate it when I open figures and you know sometimes I'll accidentally damage the box while opening it. I really really hate that. I like preserving the box especially if it is as beautiful as this one. But I'm just too excited to open the figure itself and as you can see it slides out really really nicely or somewhat nicely you can see there you can see there the statue itself let me put it this way making a lot of noise but let me slide it out this way and you can see there if i slide it out you can see there is the banshee and jake sully at the bottom there let me put this down let me put the box at the back and then show you what is inside so here is the deluxe set of Jake Sully and his Banshee, as you can see, perfectly packaged, all neatly wrapped together. You can see that Jake does come with two sets of hands, as well as a knife and a bow. And you can see the Banshee's wings are folded up, so it is easy to pack away. But it does seem like this is quite a gigantic figure because you have a stand there as well. And because this, the, the wings are folded up, the size of this must be, you know, quite big. You can see there, you can see just a comparison. If I take this, this figure out, you can see there the, the detail on Jake is quite nice. I mean, um, you see the knife goes in there and you can see the, the points of articulation. You can see his hand is, you know, able to hold, if the camera will just focus on that, you can hold the knife in his hand and his other hand probably able to, to hold the, the bow itself. And you can see there his feet is quite um, nicely articulated. You can see there that everything will be able to be bendable of this of this figure. And you can see there at the back his hairpiece is also very very nicely nicely detailed. All of this is extremely nicely detailed, especially the the clothing on this character. Now of course the main attraction of this is the Banshee itself. So let's try and take this out of its box. So now that everything's taken out of the box, it's much easier to get an idea of basically what's included. Now, as I said, you get the Jake figure, the Jake Sully figure, excuse me, I kind of uh, stuttered there for a second, but you get the Jake Sully figure, and then you get two different hands, one that has a basically a, one that can wield one that can hold something, one that points to something, and then you get the knife, you get the, let me see if the camera can focus on it, 
let me see there you get the knife as well which can go nicely into the the socket the the pocket there and then you get the bow and a spear or bow and arrow it seems but the thing about this is that it's one item it's connected so y there's no string here it's not like it's a hot toys figure or anything which has string and cloth and all that kind of stuff so unfortunately this is one item that has to be you know held into his hand i was hoping this would be two separate uh Two separate items, but unfortunately, as you can see, it is one item. Now, of course, like I said, the big thing of this the set is the Banshee itself, Bob the Banshee. And as you can see, the wings are still folded up. The tail is also disconnected. Here you have the, the pole which goes into the figure to make it stand up, to make it look like Jake is flying. And here you have a beautiful avatar stand. So I'm just going to connect everything and then I will be back in one second. So this took longer than I expected, but once the figure is mounted and on display, it looks really, really stunning. And it is a really insanely large figure, as you can see with the Jake on top of the Banshee. Now, it was a bit difficult to get Jake to pose correctly because he kept sliding off and his feet was struggling a little bit to, to get to the saddle, basically. But I got him to pose somewhat appropriately on top of Bob the Banshee and as I said overall this is an insanely large figure with the wings spread out looking really beautiful especially if you look from the top. As looking from the top you can see the avatar logo bright and clear at the bottom there and also like I said the wingspan looks really really beautiful. The wingspan is quite long and the wings is incredibly detailed if you look from the top. So this is definitely an item that you would want if you're a collector. This is, like I said, my first McFarlane avatar figure and I'm glad I bought this one because there are so many. So I, don't, I only have limited space to really put them on display. So I guess if I had to choose one, I guess I chose the correct one. And that was the Amazon exclusive deluxe set of Jake and his Banshee, Bob the Banshee. Now, as for the detail on the Banshee itself, you can see that the head and the mouth as well as the teeth is quite detailed. However, the mouth does not close. It is a static pose of the head and the mouth, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to basically pose the, the Banshee with a closed mouth, but the head can move in almost any direction. And I'll show the articulations of the figures in a moment, but like I said, the detail on the, the face itself and the mouth is pretty incredible as well as the neck and the body, including the saddle that Jake is kind of sitting on. I mean, kind of, you know, he's like half sitting on it, half not, because it's really difficult to to mount Jake on top of this Banshee. It's just, he just, like I said, he keeps falling off. So if you have somewhat of a decent pose, then I would say just keep the figure like that and don't try to change anything else. So I'm going to try to show some of the articulation of the figure itself. As I said, the mouth cannot close at all, but the head can turn quite far. You can almost uh, turn it side. Yeah, you can turn it sideways completely. You can almost, you can turn it around. So you can basically have the Banshee fly like this if you want to, but um, you can try to, you can do anything with the head you want to basically. You cannot remove it, of course, and the neck itself is quite bendable as well as you can see jake is probably going to fall off at any moment but as you can see if jake dives down the banshee's neck can go quite down and it can go quite up as well and from side to side it can turn quite sideways as you can see there including the wings let's go to the winged area here for a second you can see that the wings it is but let me just get jake off here because he's gonna definitely fall off so if you can see the wings itself is quite poseable as well you can see this part the outer part is, is quite uh, bendable as well, including this part here, the kind of like the front claw. And you can see here the one area is kind of, it's hard to do this with one hand because I'm holding the camera with my phone with the with the other hand. Um, you can see there the, the, the inner part is also separated and then the back part of, the, of the, the back wings, so to speak, is also poseable and then the claws as well. And the other side is exactly the same, like I just said. With the, the, the saddle, unfortunately, you cannot remove it. It is part of the figure. 
these of course you can move however you want to but it's not uh, there's no wire in it unfortunately so it is kind of like a static movement to the neck itself and then the tail it does seem like there is a wire in the tail as you can see it kind of can move up or down it's probably going to fall off now but you can see the tail can you can pose it let me just actually disconnect the tail and you can see there the tail you can move it however you want to there is a wire in it so that is quite nice you can move the tail however you want to but as for the the posability of jake itself like i said he is quite bendable in most areas in his elbows his hand his head can turn around let me see if i can just uh, get his head to to turn it, it cannot turn like the banshee of course but his shoulders his arms his whole body is bendable and his knees of course is also posable and his feet as well you can see you can see there if the camera will just focus in on this you can see his feet can move as well which is quite nice so you can make him stand and of course because he has the two different uh, two different handsets you can basically make him hold the knife itself or hold onto the banshee while he's uh, trying to mount the banshee itself but as for the weapons like I mentioned, this knife can be put in his hand, so you can be in attack mode, or it slides in right here. If I can just, again, do this with one hand, you can see the knife slides nicely in there. So he can have the, the knife kind of um, in there. So you can, have, you can have him basically hold the bow and arrow in one hand and then hold onto the banshee with the other while he's mounted onto the banshee. So I'd say that would be the best way to, to pose Jake with his banshee but that is of course up to you but this deluxe deluxe figure is definitely worth the purchase you can see the detail on the hair is also pretty nice for a mcfarland figure this is more of a a, a display kind of a figure more of the display than a playable figure i mean of course because if it has so many posable ways it is meant oh you can see the knife falls out quite easily as the 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 figure is posable in so many ways. It is meant to be played with, I guess, but this is more of a figure that I would use as a display. But that is, this is my first McFarlane figure. Would it be my last? Certainly not. I would definitely look at more McFarlane figures, but I would certainly look at purchasing some of the deluxe figures instead of the just the smaller ones because the smaller ones doesn't seem to have that much detail and doesn't seem to have that many posable areas and this is an amazon exclusive so i do wonder if there is a difference i know there's a a deluxe uh, banshee set by itself and then there's a deluxe figure of jake i do wonder if there's basically any difference between those two between this one and that one i i highly doubt it i think this is just a the reason it's a it's an amazon exclusive is because you buy them together and you get that nice that nice box with the artwork which you don't usually get but this is certainly worth the purchase for me i'm definitely going to put it up on display but let me know in the comments what you think of this um, this deluxe set of jake and his banshee and for more avatar content have a look at the rest of my channel until next time have a fantastic day and stay safe